Hey, what's going on team? Coach Mark here with your Wednesday workout. We have a unique situation here where we're going to do a team of two workout. At least we're going to try to if you have a, a partner, a kid, a spouse, a friend, a neighbor. We're, uh, we're going to have to recruit someone to work out with us uh, for this workout. We can still social distance because um, how this thing will work, hopefully you can see it there. If not, it'll be in your Wi-Fi. Um, six rounds for time, 400 meter run, and then we have a uh, so one partner will be on the run, 400 meters, so three, two, one, go. Uh, one partner will start on the run. The other partner will start with 15 kettlebell swings, ideally all the way up overhead, or dumbbell swings all the way up overhead. Um, if you can't do that, just stay at the eye level. So 15 of those, and then 10 push-ups, all the way down, all the way up. And you're gonna work through that 15 and 10 until your partner um, gets back, so hopefully you can incentivize them uh, to push the run so they can get back and then you can start the run so you'll switch. So each of you will have three, three opportunities to do the run and then um, each time the partner is on the run or you're on the run, someone's working through the AMRAP 15 and 10. So fairly straightforward, the workout is for time. So you're trying to get it done as fast as possible and then you can also kind of notate how many kind of combined uh, rounds and reps you guys got on the 15 and 10. So again, might be a little chilly in the morning but it should be warming up throughout the day. If you decide um, to just do this on your own, it's still a great workout. I would just cut the uh, rounds in half and just do three rounds. And then I would double the reps on the kettlebell swings and the push-ups. So think of it as an individual workout, three rounds, 400 meter run, then 30 kettlebell swings, and then 20 push-ups. So that's what we got for tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing fantastic and have a great night.